Hi everyone, this is Austin from Robless, back with some grapes. Uh, I'm going to tell so you guys can see. I got some red globe grapes. I got some peony black seeded grapes. And then I also have some Lago uh, Concord type in there, you know. Just like a nice, a nice trio for breakfast. Whew. It's a bit windy out here um, on day 16 of Grape Island, but it's not that cold. Um, just got a long sleeve on. I'm doing. These black ones are probably my favorite. You know what they say. The black or the berry. Sweet as juice. Mm. And they're sweet. And the same with the Concord. It's funny, I noticed, um, my dog, like, I'll, like, drop a grape by accident or something, and he'll, like, try to eat it, and he won't like it, like the red glow grapes, or the, um, any other grape, really, but then, like, I gave him a Concord grape yesterday. He loves it. <clears throat> he must have a refined palate. They have so much more flavor than any other grape. Very unique. And hopefully you guys know that grapes are not toxic to dogs. Obviously, they shouldn't be having meals of them, but, you know, just having a, one grape or something, it's not going to hurt them. In fact, it would probably help them, if anything. I think it would help the kidneys function better. But that's just my thoughts, you know. Mm. I'm literally having like one of each grape at a time. Like have a red globe. And then have a Concord. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then the black peony. Oh my gosh, there's an ant. Get out of here. Make sure you check your grapes before you eat them. Um, don't eat any with like little soft spots. Most of the time they're not going to be that good tasting, especially the black ones. Um, you might notice they taste like wine or something and I don't want to wish that on anybody. It's not even like wine, it's like a way worse than wine. Not good. Don't eat the soft grapes, only eat the plump, juicy, firm ones that don't have like any holes in them.
or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Autumn is definitely in the air. I noticed the persimmons <coughs> starting to show up at the market. I'm so excited for persimmon season. They're one of my favorite fruits. And I've only been fruitarian for a little over a year, so I didn't get a chance to eat them much last year. I had no idea what a persimmon was. You know, I never went to the Asian markets. I never searched for that food. I was all in the junk food section, you know, getting pre-made veggie patties or pizzas or whatever, vegan junk, vegan processed food, which is not food. <clears throat> Just because it's vegan doesn't mean it's real food. Still fake food. If you see something with like sodium benzen benzenate or potassium sorbate, weird stuff like that that they add, that's not food. It's a bunch of chemicals that's passed off to look and taste like food. Your mind thinks it's food because your mind can make anything taste like, look, turn into food, you know? That's where the alchemy starts. So. If you live on the junk, you're not going to be living much at all. You're going to be barely living. That's why I call them cooked food zombies. Because you see them walk around. Uh, I'm just dulled down. All their senses dulled down. They have to numb themselves with drugs and mostly food drugs, though. Not. Not like pharmaceuticals, you know. Other types of drugs, you know. Mm. I really like these peony grapes. They were the most expensive out of the three grapes, I just realized. Three dollars a pound. The red globes were two fifty a pound. Let me get that one. Mm -hmm. And the Concord were thirteen dollars a flat, and the flat is six pints. Yeah. Pretty good deals. Loving these grapes. Loving the savings. Loving everything about it. Grapes are a perfect human food. They have everything we need. In perfect amount. And the seeds are great assistance to our digestive tracts as well. Mm. 
Make sure you chew the seed. Don't just swallow it. You don't want to have that chance that it just like ends up sideways in your throat or something. It's like, you know, it's not good. I realize you can tell <clears throat> how ready a grape is, like how easy it comes off the stem, you know? Like, see that one was kind of hard to pull off. That one's not very good. That one comes off really easy. Oh. So, yeah. There's a few here that I can't eat, but it's okay. I usually am the one to eat bad fruit. Because I don't like to waste it, but not in this case, because the grapes, the bad grapes, taste the worst. Oh my gosh. Only the best. And yeah, that's all of them. So thank you guys. So much for staying with me another day um, YouTube is like in the process of demonetizing all my videos right now so I really appreciate all your support once again um, thank you for liking and subscribing and make sure to eat raw and stay blissful have a great day everybody peace